So I just left the gym. As you can tell, I'm very sweaty. I need to shower, but I woke up this morning to a notification from Crew Scheduling that I finally got my first trip assignment. And guess where I'm going? Guess where I'm going? Do you know? I am flying to the great state of Alaska today and I am basically gonna be up there for the next three days. Um, my trip just takes me all around Alaska and I am just so excited. Um, I, I'm i in a, let's see, I'm a PM reserve. I don't think I've shared that yet, but I am on reserve. I'm a PM schedule. And um, I started online September 1 this month and it is currently the third and I have been patiently waiting for a trip assignment and I haven't gotten anything yet and my friends have been getting trips all over the place and it's just been so awesome to see my classmates at the airport and just running into each other but so far I haven't gotten any assignments yet. Um, I've had a couple airport standbys but no trips out of them until today so I'm two days into the job and finally on day three, I got a trip. So I will be doing a three day trip and then I'll have two days off. And my first trip is to the amazing state of Alaska. So ah, I just wanna take you guys along the journey. I wanna film it because I have been waiting for this day to come. My layovers unfortunately are not that long. So um, the good news is, is I think the timing of the flights shouldn't make me too tired so at least for day one and two so i'm gonna try and film as much as i can and you know it's still summertime in alaska so i hope the sun is still staying out relatively long um i know the days are starting to get shorter but i still hope it's pretty sunny when i get there i know it's pretty rainy right now but i'll be packing my bag accordingly and yeah i just want to do something when i'm there so my first layover is in fairbanks and my second day layover is in Kodiak. And I'm just so excited because never in my life would I have ever had the opportunity and the privilege to be in Alaska. Like that is just, I'm from the East Coast, you guys know that. So I would probably never in my life have an opportunity like this without this job. So I am very, very, very grateful. And I'm so excited, like, ugh. I I want to get outside more. I want to explore more, be more in nature. I have family all over the place in Montana and things like that. So anyways, I'm rambling. Just so excited at the privilege and the honor of my first trip with my airline being in the great state of Alaska. So I'm excited and I'm going to take you guys along the journey with me. Hey guys, I made it to the airport. I got ready. Um, did not show my get ready process because it was kind of chaotic today. But um, yeah, I made it to the airport and I did not get random today. So it's already a good start to the trip. Like I said earlier, it is my first trip and I'm heading to Alaska. Um, let's see, I'm a little early. So I have just about an hour until my check-in time. And you know, I think I'm just gonna hang out a little bit. I don't really wanna get coffee because the layover isn't that long, so I don't wanna be caffeinated, but I might just walk around a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited, you guys. Like, I've been waiting for this day for a really long, really, really, really long time. And I'm just excited. I'm going to Alaska. That's so crazy. I am checking in. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I was at the SeaTac airport and it was about 5 p.m. and it is now 10 p.m. Alaska time, which is behind an hour from Pacific time. Um, we just touched down in Fairbanks, which is my first layover tonight, and uh, it's just a little after 10 p.m. and I'm just so tired that I don't, th I think I'm just gonna finish eating my meal and I think I'm just gonna go straight to bed. I meal prepped some fish, rice, and broccoli, and I'm like, you know what, that's so fitting because I am in Alaska and there is lots of fish to be caught here. So anyways, um, to recap my very first flight, I was working the D position, and I'm not gonna lie, there were some times where I just felt like awkward and very like out of place and like 
like I remember what I'm supposed to be doing but I also felt like a deer in the headlights and I don't know it's just kind of slightly uncomfortable but my crew oh my gosh my crew was amazing they made me feel so welcomed and just everybody was just cracking jokes and it was just such a good environment for learning and I really appreciated everyone um who was so awesome and anyways tomorrow unfortunately I have to say goodbye to that crew and I'll be with a different crew and uh tomorrow I'm just doing just a couple different I'm doing Fairbanks back to Anchorage Anchorage or nope Fairbanks to Kodiak Kodiak to Anchorage, Anchorage back to Kodiak, and ending my layover, or starting my layover in Kodiak, and everyone's like, oh, you'll love the Kodiak layover, and I've heard good things, so anyways, I think I'm gonna try in the morning to get up at my normal time, um, because I'm only an hour behind, so I don't think I'm gonna be too, too tired, but I want to wake up at my normal time, and maybe get a walk-in, because I am in downtown Fairbanks, so um, if there's time, because I have to catch my van at 10 a.m., so I might not have time, but if I do, we'll see. If not, I'll try again tomorrow, but anyways, I'm in Alaska, like, what? It's crazy. It's still light out, but, um, I'm just so exhausted. I don't even want to try walking downtown right now, but anyways, I just wanted to check in, and I survived my first flight. My passengers were so nice. I had one woman give me souvenirs because she runs a souvenir shop in North Pole, like the North Pole, Alaska, uh, like Santa Claus North Pole, and so that was so sweet, and I just had the best people, and yeah, just feeling very blessed to be here, and I'm excited for tomorrow, so anyways, I'm going to wrap this up here, um, wherever you're at, I hope you had a good meal, and I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning, you guys. It is day two out of my three-day trip. Um, I did not have that much time this morning. I kind of slept in. I think my, you know, first flight jitters and everything like that kind of hit me hard. So I did not end up exploring like I wanted to in Fairbanks, but that's okay. There's going to be so many more opportunities. Um, but yeah, so from Fairbanks, I'm flying over to Anchorage and then Anchorage to Kodiak, Kodiak back to Anchorage, and then finally one more flight over to Kodiak for the layover. So, um, I'm going to try and take you guys with me. I swap crews pretty much every day of this trip, so we'll see how much footage I can get. But anyways, good morning. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. Uh, still the deep position and yeah, I'm just, just ready to start the day. I just got to Anchorage after my first leg of the day and crew scheduling changed my schedule so no more Kodiak for me um, so now I'm going to MSP I guess uh, to work a red eye so now I have to get myself to my hotel try to sleep and then work a red eye to Minneapolis tonight and then deadhead back to Seattle later that night, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, ah, it's my first time in this airport too. So I literally don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just rolling with it. So uh, yeah, I'll catch with you guys once I understand more what's going on. is really cool. So I'm back. I am more level-headed and I understand what was going on more. My trip did get changed. So unfortunately, no, I'm not going to Kodiak like I originally thought I was. I am being reflowed to uh, work a red eye tonight out of Anchorage to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, so that's gonna be fun because I've been up since 7 a.m. Alaska time and I don't get in until 7.45 in the morning central time. So I'm gonna be awake for just about 27 hours. 
I'm gonna try and take a nap here in my room, but you know, obviously you can't force yourself to fall asleep and I doubt I will, but I'm gonna try. But for now, it's like one in the afternoon, so I'm just gonna eat something real quick and then I'm like, let's try and make the best of it. I have a really beautiful view outside my window and I'm like, I'm just gonna eat something, explore downtown. I guess I won't get a coffee if I'm trying to sleep, but that sounds really good right now. But here's my view. Look at that. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Like waterfront, everything in downtown Anchorage, Alaska. So, and I did get to see uh, Denali National Park from the airplane earlier today. And that was very cool. I didn't get a picture because, uh, you know, obviously passengers on board, but um, the p passengers were showing me the pictures they got, and they, were, they got some really cool, really cool uh, pictures of it. So, I don't know. I'm trying to make the best of it, and I'm also a little worried about how sleepy I'm going to be tonight working this five and a half hour red eye, and then I did, oh, and then I get 12, uh, 11 and a half hours of rest, and then <laughs> deadhead back to base, and then I start my days off. So, kind of a rude awakening. I feel like I'm gonna be all discombobulated, but it's okay, that's what I signed up for. So I'm gonna eat something, take a walk, stretch my legs, and hopefully that'll help me fall asleep. Also, oh, my Uber driver. I had the corporate Uber pick me up from the airport. I'm like doing all of this solo, you guys. This is crazy. But anyways, my Uber driver, his name was Bruce. Shout out Bruce. He's a, a tour guide in Anchorage, Alaska. And he told me that the area I'm in, there's a house that he pointed out along the way. And he said that the people who live there have a pet reindeer. And sometimes they'll like put his color on and um, I can't remember if it was boy or girl, but they would walk them like in the park next door. And so people could pet the reindeer. And I'm like, <laughs> so maybe we'll see the reindeer. Who knows? <gasps> oh, look, a plane's taking off. Ready? Let's see if you guys can see this. Can you see it? So right, yep, there you go. It's like right above that ship right there. That is so cool. It is very beautiful here. Never in my life would I ever have a chance or opportunity to come to the amazing state of Alaska except for with this job. So even though scheduling is crazy as a reserve, I'm still very grateful and happy to be here. So anyways, I'm gonna go change and get some food explore downtown and I want to get some footage to show you guys what what I find on this layover so we're making the best of this trip okay I'll catch you guys in a bit bye well I am walking around downtown Anchorage Alaska it is 6 30 p.m. I took a good one and a half two hour nap in and out of sleep it was light sleep if it was anything but um, yeah, I want to, I had a beautiful view as you guys saw, so I'm gonna go find this little trail off of one of the parks nearby, and it should wrap around to the other side of downtown where there's a restaurant that I think I'm gonna order some dinner from, and then eat, take a shower, and get ready for this red eye tonight. So, um, if I see any cool views along the way, I'll be sure to share them with y'all, so, yeah. It is so peaceful here. This is just 
beautiful the sun behind me. I mean, granted, I know it's still somewhat summertime, but like I can feel the sun just warming up my back. It feels really nice. It's comfortable. I'm just in a flannel and leggings and you can't even tell where water meets land on the horizon. Like this is so beautiful. And some people just get this every day. Like take me here. I want to be here. So anyways, I'm just walking down this trail and if I mapped it correctly, it should connect to a different part of downtown that has um, a restaurant I'm trying to get some food at. So, fingers crossed. It's just so beautiful. Hey you guys, um, it is now a little after 9.30 p.m. I just realized that I totally did not show you guys my dinner, which was this delicious vegan pizza I had here in Anchorage. Um, shout out 90, no, 49th Street Brewing. I was gonna say 94th Street. 49th Street Brewing, it was really, really, really yummy. Um, ate the entire pizza pie, I was very hungry. And yeah, so the sun has set and I just got myself ready, took a shower and all that good stuff. And I just made myself a coffee. So um, I'm gonna go catch my van and I will see you guys in the morning. I know I'm gonna be very, very exhausted. I have, I think it's almost a six hour flight in entirely a red eye, so. <laughs> I'm gonna be tired. So I will catch you guys in the morning in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Catch you later, bye. Guys, good morning. I just finished my first red eye. It is 8.30 in the morning. I left Anchorage at 9.30ish last night. Um, so yeah, it was a five, almost five and a half hour flight, like five hour, 15 minute flight. Um, so I am now in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Honestly, I'm just gonna crash and go to sleep because I have to deadhead back to Seattle later tonight and I need some rest. I weirdly have energy. I drank one coffee at like pretty much 9.30 on the dot last night and I had like one snack on the plane and some cranberry juice and I'm still, I have energy somehow. So, however, I do need my sleep. So I'm gonna be sleeping. I don't think I'm gonna, our hotel is like connected to Mall of America. but I don't really think I'm gonna be exploring just because ugh, I need to make sure that I'm taking care of myself. So um, yeah, I just changed, I'm gonna drink some water and I think I'm just gonna go to bed. So um, I will catch you guys back in Seattle. I think I'm just gonna wrap the vlog up here. Um, overall though, I actually really liked this last leg that I just completed because my position changed to the C position, which was mostly really good service experience, especially on this red eye, um, cause I had a lot of sleeping passengers. And so I think it was a really good kind of like intro to uh, service as the seat position. So anyways, even with everything that happened, I really liked the trip. Um, I liked getting my first taste of Alaska flying and I will catch you guys uh, back in Seattle. Take care of yourself, you deserve it. Hey you guys, I decided to film some extra content 
I am staying near the Mall of America. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm trying a mochi donut for the first time. I've never had one before, but it's been on my to try list for a very long time. And then I also have just a bubble milk tea. And I wanted to try this. It's cookies and cream flavored. So let's hope it's any good. That just tastes like donut. I'm kind of like funnel cake too. good I was under the impression that it was gonna actually be filled with mochi in it but it's just a mochi shaped donut I thought in each of the little bubbles there was gonna be like the mochi ice cream in it but it's okay It's good. I'm happy. Okay. I'll catch you guys back in Seattle. Bye.